Hello and welcome to a new player review. Uh, today we're not going to see a foot birthday or the new foot day, foot birthday FBC, which was that uh, Steven Bergwin, uh, which like this like a good card but very very expensive. Uh, it's not going to be for my taste. Uh, I just completed the Bellarabi uh, objectives uh, like two days ago uh, or a day ago, and uh, he's very similar. Uh, obviously, Bergwin is a bit better. Uh, I won't lie in stats, but. Uh, if I if you already have this card, uh, there's no point in paying like 360k to get that card unless you're a Tottenham fan or you need that strong link. Um, I don't see a point in this card and that card, especially with a new team coming tomorrow. You don't know what we're gonna get, so at least I will wait until tomorrow and see what's the new team, uh, what the new team is gonna bring. Uh, so instead of that, I went and completed uh, the Libertadores uh, Player SBC. Uh, one more time. I have completed it once uh, before and got this uh, Lissandro Lopez uh, center back, which was very nice. I did that to pair him with this uh, right back Bustos, which this right back Bustos is probably one of my favorites uh, so far. It's been an, an amazing card for me. Um, so I always wanted to complete this pair. I had him almost completed, but with that two week, two weeks that I got uh, that I was off, uh, I kind of forgot about him. So. I'm going to complete him now. Uh, the SPC is so cheap at the moment. It's almost like less than 90k. If you have patience and you sit there for you know some time and open bronze packs, uh, you're going to hit a lot of the uh, Libertadores cards, and it's going to be so so cheap. So for less than 90k, this card looks amazing. Um, like you, as you can see, everything is above 80. Uh, Gulag Gang, obviously. Uh, so let's check out this card. Uh, he's uh, Enzo Perez, like I said. So he's gonna be from uh, what is it? Uh, River Plate, uh, obviously. Uh, club Nunes is gonna be uh, um, Argentinian club River Plate. Um, so he's 178. Uh, he's not that tall, uh, about 5'10, maybe 5'11, something like that. And medium, medium work rates will not make him ideal. Although they're not bad work rates for a uh, CM or a CDM. Uh, right footed with three star skills and a four star weak foot. So he looks very nice for me. Like I said, the only thing that I will probably maybe don't like uh, is going to be the height. Uh, you want him like 6'1", six, 6 feet, something like that. But he, he's, he's close enough. So pace overall 82 with good uh, acceleration and sprint speed differential, four points. Um, it's not... It's not uh, the best for what it is, what we have right now in FIFA, where we at with the speed. But uh, given the appropriate chem style, which uh, is gonna be a shadow, I believe, as I'm gonna try it as a CDM. Uh, so let me go and apply that and be right back. All right, so here we go with the shadow. So the uh, pace now is up to 99 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. So the differential here is bigger. Uh, we wanted a few points more in sprint speed, but that's okay. Hopefully the 99 acceleration is gonna be enough uh, so we won't tell the difference after a while. Uh, shooting is overall 81, fantastic shooting for a CM or a CDM, uh, box to box mid. Uh, 85 attack positioning, very low finishing, so probably will be hard to score, but good short power and good long shot, so maybe we can bang, in from, bang one in from uh, outside the area. Passing overall 88, which is a very high stat with vision 90 and short pass 94 and curve 71, which is gonna be the important stats. Curve is a bit low, so we need to be careful in doing some through passes or something like that. Um, good long pass as well. Dribbling overall 85 with agility 86, very nice. Balance is the lowest uh, stat here at 75, but um, I don't see, like I said, with the cards before, we see the balance being somewhere around that area. Uh, with a lot of the cards and I don't see it affecting it that much uh, but we'll uh, see how this card plays in game uh, reactions very high, uh, high ball control high and composure high as well uh, defending overall 86 um, it's nice because all the stats in the defensive um, area are very close 87 uh, defensive awareness 88 standing tackle 86 and slide tackle 84 so we get everything into uh, except standing tackle which is going to be 91 the rest is going to be 97 and above so which is really nice and physical overall 90 which is the highest stat which is probably what's going to make up for the height uh, that this guy is not, doesn't have maybe strength and aggression which is really high with aggression maxed out at 99 very good stamina at 87 and good jumping at 85. So all in all, it's a really, really, really well 
rounded card. I like it uh, a lot. It looks like it can play anywhere from, you know, a CDM to a center back. You can swap him in game, maybe play him as a center back to a CM, a box to box, a cam, anything, anywhere in the midfield. You can apply any camp style and try different uh, positions with this guy. So it looks like a really nice card, especially for his price. It's only 90K. So uh, I'm really excited to try out this card and see if this card is actually a hidden gem uh, in the game for this price. So we're gonna go into a few games and test this card out. So here we go with our first game. Uh, here's that new uh, Steven Bergman, uh, foot birthday. It looks like a nice card, but like I said, the price is very expensive. Also that Aaron Ramsey, I'm not sure if that's a good card. Uh, the rest of them look really, really nice. A really good team. So we're gonna go into this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, we're gonna test out uh, Libertadores SPC Enzo Perez in the main CDM spot with uh, stay back while attacking instructions. Nice, nice block by Paris. Yeah. There we go. No, again, back to Paris. Give me the pass to Royce. There it is, very nice goal, one nil. There we go, Paris, nice dribble. Nice dribble, go. The ball. Whoa, what a goal. Oh my God. Nice block by Paris there. Oh, Paris. Oh, Paris. There's the ball. Wow. Get it now. Go. Shoot. Ah. Get it. There we go. What a goal. Wow. Nice. Go, go, go. Go, Paris. Go. 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 Make the pass. There's Orsic walking in. Shoot. No. And that's going to be game. Very lucky. My opponent scored two kickoff goals out of nowhere. Uh, as you can see, Enzo Perez gets man of the match with no goals. He had one assist. Um, no shots on target. Everything he did was defensively. Uh, 21 on 22 uh, passes. Oh, I did have one assist, so that's an offensive move. But most of his work was defensively and he get man of the match. It's amazing. Uh, 16 on 17 dribbles, uh, no crosses and one-on-one -on -one tackles, but a lot of interceptions. I think more tackles. I don't know how they are not registering there. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, uh, very good. Very good by Perez. I really, really like him. It seemed like he was all over the place in this first game. Um, was unlucky not, that we didn't win that game. So let's go into uh, another game. All right. So this is going to be our second opponent. Um, you doing some kind of objective? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, we're going to uh, try again the same formation, 4 2 3 one, And uh, we're going to test out uh, Libertadores uh, player SBC Enzo Perez in the main CDM position with stay back while attacking instructions. Yeah. Nice. Wow, what a tackle by Perez. Yeah. There. There. Yeah. No. I don't care the way you do. Yes, that's the move. Shoot. Oh my God. Oh, what a triple. Again. Oh no. <laughs> oh my. One attack. Oh, and he dubs as well. Oh. Nice Paris. Go. Good steal. That's not a thing though. It's Paris again with the steal. There it is. Oh, 
lot of gold. Very fast. There. Shoot. No. We don't have the finishing there. Although I did try to finesse it, maybe a direct shot would have been better. But it looked like he had the angle. Oh. Nice. Shoot. Yes, or it's And he's gone. All right. So, uh... What is it? It's another man of match for Paris. 9.0. Again, fantastic performance. No goals. Another assist by Paris. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, he did have that shot. I was... I, like I said, I finessed that shot. Probably should have taken a direct shot or something like that in the corner. I don't know. Uh, 14 and 15 passes, 16 and 17 dribbles, two on two tackles. <laughs> and this card is, is amazing. I don't know. Defensively, I don't see his offensive work in game, obviously, because I don't know. I'm kind of caught up in the moment. But uh, two games, two assists. But most of his work is defensive. And he's doing an amazing work in both games. He's got man out of match now, so he's two for two. Let's go into another game. All right, so here's our third opponent. It's gonna be a La Liga, is it? No, it's not. It's not an objectives team. So I don't know what it is with Makilele uh, as a right back. All right, so we're trying the same formation 4 2 3 1 with uh, Libertadores SPC player uh, Enzo Perez in the main CDM position um, with uh, stay back while attacking instructions. There's Paris, very fast, very fast. Good pass, shoulder, I don't know. Wow, all right. Get it, Royce? Why, how is he missing that? What is this game doing? Dude, relax. Go. That's Perez. Good speed. Go. Shoot. No. Don't see what the hell. Excellent tackle by Perez. Go. There it is. Nice. Good pass. Simon. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That was terrible. Oh, we got him back. It's fine. Go. Again? Oh, not there. Oh, wow. Oh. What? No way you got that ball. Again. I'm not getting that ball from Paris. Again. Again, you're not getting it. Tim still gets the ball. Nice, Paris. There we go. Go. There we go. Go. There we go. There's the goal, finally. Shoot. Oh, no, come on. Anyways, um, another great performance by Paris. Although I got a bit frustrated because <laughs> nothing was going in. At least we equalized and we didn't get the loss. Uh, 8.0 uh, by Paris. He didn't get man of the match. Rooney got the man of the match, obviously, with the assist. Um, if it wasn't for that assist, I would assume Paris is tied at 8. Point all with uh, Ferdinand and Lopez, but I think he would have got uh, the match. Again, uh, he has 15 and 16 passes, 12 and 17 dribbles, and four and six tackles. I'm pretty sure he would have gotten man of the match. He would have gone three for three. Uh, another excellent performance. Really, really nice card. I really like him. Uh, let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have uh, Enzo Perez, Libertadores Players SPC. Um, it's a fantastic card. I mean, uh, it's amazing. It's like a sort of a mini uh, hullet. I mean, um, what can I say? It, this this card is as good as it looks. Uh, one of those rare occasions where a card translates the same in game. This card uh, is as good as you can tell by his stats and more. 
Uh, his defensive work was amazing. Uh, we played three games, he had two assists, uh, one on the, each game the first two games, nothing on the third one, uh, but his defensive work was amazing. Uh, another amazing thing was his passing, I think he missed one pass uh, in uh, the first two games, one on the first and one on the second, amazing passing, and I think it was the same with his dribbling, uh, amazing dribbling as well, he feels really rapid and really fast, very agile. Uh, he's sort of somewhere in the middle between um, short and tall, so he feels really nice to turn around. Uh, I think with a different chem style, we, you could actually probably score with this, with this guy uh, quite a lot because he will have the ability to get into the area with his strength and his dribbling and his good passing. So if we had better finishing, um, I think we would have probably would have scored some goals as well. But uh, I want to test this guy as a CDM or maybe as a CM uh, in an L formation or in a flat formation, uh, like a box to box uh, type of guy where he can attack and defend as well. And I think this card is fantastic, uh, especially for the 90K or under 90K. Uh, if you complete this SPC, obviously my advice would be if you want to complete the, this SPC, uh, dedicate, you know, maybe an hour or two or more if you have into opening uh, bronze uh, bronze packs. Now there are a lot of players that are worth some coins in the bronze packs, but you will end up getting a lot of the Libertadores cards that you need to complete maybe a few parts uh, for free and then the rest you can buy. Uh, so it will be much, much cheaper. I think it cost me to complete this as we see something under, I'm gonna say 40K, 30K in coins. The rest it was uh, cards that I pulled from packs. So, this card is amazing. Even if you pay for every single card and complete them at 90k, I think this is an amazing card. If you can fit them in a team, uh, my advice will be uh, you can get this right back if you don't have, uh, maybe you have Zanetti as a right back, if you have a, an Argentinian uh, icon or you have Argentinians where you can box them in. But if you can get uh, this guy for another 90k, I will assume you go into a 4-3-3 uh, flat maybe. Uh, yeah, like this, you put him here, and then you need like uh, one icon or one Argentinian so he doesn't get uh, two dead links. You need another soft link to him, and he's good to go. And this right back is amazing, especially in the first uh, game where we had that third birthday Bergwin. Uh, Bustos didn't leave him anything, any space, so that guy had to sub him out, um, which was embarrassing for a new card. So these two cards, uh, Perez uh, and Bustos are amazing together for 180K. You can't go wrong. Uh, and like I said, this pair is probably gonna be my main CDM and I'm gonna take out uh, this Prime SEN that we got from the Tokens one. This card is way better than this uh, SEN, I can tell you that. So if you need a CDM or a CM, this is a card for you to get. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.